beautiful and true story of Pope John Paul II is told. A young man had a vocation to the priesthood, so his bishop sent him to study in Rome. After being duly ordained a priest and serving in his diocese for some time, his bishop sent him to Rome again for further studies. While there, he used to visit a small church to say his office and to pray. At the door sat a group of beggars seeking assistance, and one of them made him feel uneasy for some inexplainable reason. So he went back to him and asked, Do I know you? Yes, said the beggar. I studied for the priesthood with you here in Rome and was ordained. The priest was surprised. What happened to you? he asked. I encountered crisis after crisis in my life and eventually renounced the priesthood. I had my priestly faculties taken from me. I lost everything and am now reduced to begging. The priest could not forget the beggar and constantly prayed for him. The study course he was attending was drawing to a close and the students were invited to receive individual blessings from the Pope John Paul II. They were forbidden to speak to him personally. But as the priest knelt to receive the blessings, his mind was full of the beggar's situation. He whispered to the Pope, Holy Father, please pray for my classmate who sits begging outside the church in Rome. He was ordained a priest but has resigned and his priestly faculties were removed. He hardly had time to finish and was signaled to proceed. A few days later, the priest received an invitation and he hurried to the church and found the beggar. Come quickly, he said. We are to dine with the Pope. Impossible, replied the beggar. How could I visit him in this state? The priest helped him tidy up and they entered the great gates of St. Peter's where they were met with the Polish secretary to the Pope. He escorted them to the dining room where His Holiness awaited them. To introductions, they sat down to a lovely meal. During the dessert, the Pope signaled to his secretary, who rose and beckoning to the beggar priest to follow him, left the room. After about 15 minutes, the Pope called them in again. Nothing was said about what happened in their absence. As they crossed St. Peter's Square, the priest, overcome with curiosity, asked the beggar eagerly what transpired while he was out of the room. The beggar related that when they were alone with the Holy Father, he turned to him and said, Father, please hear my confession. In great confusion and distress, he replied, I cannot do that. I am no longer a priest. The Pope looked at him with a loving compassion. Then. He raised his right hand and wagging his finger, he said, Once a priest, always a priest. After a long pause, he continued, As Bishop of Rome and head of the Catholic Church, I could restore your priestly faculties to you, but you will have to ask. The beggar, overwhelmed and close to tears, said simply, Please, Holy Father. Then the Pope heard his confession and restored his priesthood to him. Afterwards, Pope John Paul II repeated his original request and the beggar priest heard the Pope's confession. After a pause for prayers and meditation, Pope John Paul said to the beggar priest, When you live here, I want you to go to the church where you have been begging and seek out your parish priest. I am appointing new curate in that parish with special responsibility for the beggars who seek assistance at the door of the church.